Hello and welcome everyone to the Ninja and I's first installation demo video. We wanted to give you an idea of how easy it is to change your crossover and to do other simple upgrades. So we hope to be producing a whole line of these for our audio family signed up on SkiingNinja.com. It's free to join! But back to the matter at hand. The Ninja is getting ahead of me. To start, you'll remove the woofer. On this XLS Classic from AV123, the Allen screws will either be 3 mm or 1 8 inch, depending on time of production. Once it is removed, you can desolder the wires from the tabs, like the Ninja is doing here. Removing the tweeter can be more sticky, so stick your hand inside the cabinet and give a gentle push to the tweeter from behind. That sounded a little dirty. Be careful, you don't want to hurt the veneer. Next, just like with the woofer, desolder the wires from the tabs. Hey, Ninja, your hand is in the way. You get the idea. Don't keep the soldering iron on the tabs too long, as you can damage the tweeter. At some point, you will need to remove the number two screws from the crossover. Doing it by hand will take you forever, so if you don't already have a small right angle screwdriver or a screwdriver extension, go get one. It will save you time and your hands from the sharp edged braces inside. If you decide to install no res like I did in this cabinet, your hands will get enough of those. In the back, you'll be removing the binding cup and desolder the wires. Not all speaker companies use screws to hold the binding cup in, so sometimes there's a nut inside the speaker holding it on. Now you can remove the crossover. Again, be careful not to scratch or nick the cabinet veneer. Looks easy so far, right? If you have decided to install a new dampening material kit, do so before you start to reassemble your speaker. Now grab your Skiing Ninja crossover and turn it over. You will want to use a bit of hot glue to secure the rubber washers over the screw holes. When you have let them dry, place the crossover in the cabinet in the same spot as the stock one you removed. Use the provided SPAC screws and a right angle or driver extension screwdriver to secure the new board. All of your wires will be labeled, so find the T plus and T minus and run them up and through the tweeter opening. Do the same with the W plus and W minus for the woofer. The Ninja likes to use the pre-drilled holes to hold the wires while he works. The rest of the wires can be pushed out the binding post opening. You are now ready to reconnect your drivers. Solder the T plus to the positive tab and the T minus to the negative tab of the tweeter. Screw back in the tweeter. Careful, you don't want to scratch the cabinet now. Place a piece of old dampening material over the crossover. You will do the same reassembly for the woofer as you did with the tweeter. When it is time to reassemble the binding cup, you will have two wires for each the positive and negative tab. Soldering them both to the binding cup can be a little more tricky. Take your time and use some patience so that you get them done correctly. After all four wires are soldered and the cup screwed back in, you're finished. Well, almost. Don't forget to place a Skiing Ninja upgrade sticker on the back of your speaker so everyone knows you've been upgraded. Congratulations, you have completed your upgrade. Now sit back and listen to your new speakers. Remember the new caps will need 50 to 100 hours playing time to break in, at which time you will have truly unlocked the potential in your loudspeakers. Until next time, enjoy!